Hello and welcome to another installment with me, Alicia. Pregnancy after miscarriage can be stressful and confusing. You might be feeling anxious or confused about what caused your miscarriage and when to conceive again. On this video, we'll discuss some things that will help you understand pregnancy after miscarriage and the steps you can take to promote a healthy pregnancy. A miscarriage is the loss of a fetus between 20th week of pregnancy. The medical term for miscarriage is spontaneous abortion, but the condition is not an abortion in the common definition of the term. About 10 to 20 percent of pregnancies end in miscarriage. The actual number is probably higher because many miscarriage occur so early in pregnancy that a woman doesn't even know yet that she's pregnant. As to what might be the cause of miscarriage, mainly it's because the fetus isn't developing normally. Problems with the baby chromosomes or genes are typically the result of errors that occurs by chance as the embryo divides and grows. It's not a problem inherited from the parents. Although sometimes women health conditions such as uncontrolled diabetes or problems with the uterus or cervix also might lead to miscarriage. Oftentimes, however, the cause of miscarriage isn't fully known or identified. If you have experienced a miscarriage, naturally, you'd want to know what caused it and what you can do to prevent it from happening again. A recent study showed that since you got pregnant once, the odds are 80% they will go on to have a healthy baby and as many healthy babies after that as you want. Miscarriage is usually a one-time occurrence most women who miscarriage go on to have a healthy pregnancy after miscarriage. Less than 5% of women have two consecutive miscarriage, and only 1% have three or more consecutive miscarriage. In most cases, miscarriage is a random, isolated event and the cause for it can't really be identified. Women who go on to have two or three miscarriage may ultimately learn that they have a medical problem that is causing their pregnancy to end spontaneously. But even with recurrent miscarriage, half the time there is no known cause. If you're planning to conceive after experiencing a miscarriage, you might be wondering, when is the best time to start preparing? Give yourself time to heal before attempting to get pregnant again. While the body may heal quickly from miscarriage, a few hours to a couple of days, your emotional well-being, however, might not be as resilient. On the physical side, your periods will likely to return within 4 to 6 weeks, and it's possible to become pregnant during the menstrual cycle immediately after miscarriage. While on the mental side, miscarriage can cause intense feeling of loss. You and your partner might experience a wide range of emotions such as anger, sadness, or guilt. Don't rush the grooving process, give yourself time to heal properly. Once you feel physically and emotionally ready for pregnancy after miscarriage, consider the following. Although the World Health Organization recommends waiting at least 6 months before trying to conceive, some research has shown that women who conceive within 6 months of having miscarriage in their first pregnancy has fewer complications than did those who waited longer to conceive. If you're healthy and feel ready, there might not be any reason to delay conception after miscarriage. However, if you experience two or more miscarriage, then you do need to determine any underlying issues as well as possible treatments before attempting another pregnancy. Once you become pregnant again, you'll likely feel joyful as well as anxious and scared. You might be hesitant to share your good news until later in your pregnancy. Feeling of grief over your loss also might return after you gave birth. This is normal. Talk about your feelings and allow yourselves to experience them fully. Turn to your partner, family, and friends for comfort. If you're having trouble coping, consult your healthcare provider or a counselor for extra support. That's it for this installment. Be sure to join us again for more info and tips on getting pregnant and beyond. This is Alicia signing off. Please leave a comment, rate my video, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Bye now!